Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel, a Cheeky Scientist, and this week's question comes from Andy Ritter. Um, Andy asks, what is the best way to get a job referral online when you don't have any networking events near you? Uh, this is a question we get a lot, and I always respond with, are you sure there's no networking events near you? Um, have you checked different uh, websites such as meetup.com or eventbrite.com? Um, and are you only looking for PhD level networking events in a specific field? Because uh, if you are, you should expand that to looking for different types of networking events where uh, not only PhDs are, but other high level professionals might be, um, such as entrepreneur events, um, investing events, even we've had associates get jobs by going to architecture events and they meet somebody whose wife or husband works at a, a large biopharmaceutical company and they've gotten hired. Uh, so, so I'd answer that question first. Um, but if there really are no networking events near you, what you want to do is you want to start networking online. And the key here is to um, get your house in order first before you invite people into it. I like to put it that way. And what I mean by that is make sure at least your LinkedIn profile is professional and prepared. Um, because once you start reaching out to people, the first thing they're going to do is they're either going to Google you or they're going to look at your LinkedIn profile. They're going to search you on LinkedIn. And even if they do Google you and you have any sort of LinkedIn presence, that'll come up to the top of the search. So make sure your profile uh, is in order first. Um, if it is in order, then you want to start reaching out to people, um, both people who are currently in your network or maybe that you need to reconnect with, and then reaching out to new people. And the key here is to use the right kind of networking scripts. Uh, so don't start a message uh, with some vague subject line um, that nobody will ever click on. Use a specific subject line that's about the other person or certainly uh, brings up their interests. This is very, very important um, because it doesn't matter how good your message is. If the subject line is not good enough to get clicked on, they're never going to read your message. And then for your message, make it very, very short. Right? We've all received messages from somebody we don't know uh, where the message is very, very long. It's a wall of text. Right, and we scan through it. We say way too much time to invest, so we just archive it or delete it altogether. So don't make this mistake. Have your first message, especially, be very, very short, um, and then ask a question at the end to keep the conversation going. A simple yes/no question. And in that message, make sure you're adding value. So you might just say, you know, I really enjoyed your article on X Y Z. Um, I saw that you went to this university, so did I. Or I saw that you're working at this company. Right. Um, learn about the other person first. Look at their LinkedIn profile. Whatever they put on their LinkedIn profile, they want people to learn about because they know it's public. So you're not stalking them. You're just learning about them. You're investing in them first. Comment on something that they've done um, or somewhere they've been, some common thread, uh, and then ask a simple yes, no question at the end. Uh, you could ask them for their opinion on another paper, uh, their opinion on a thread in a LinkedIn group that you're both in, whatever it might be. Um, and then finally, don't just think that there's some magical connection out there that can get you a job. There's very likely somebody in your network right now who can get you a job. You just have to go back through and reconnect with people that you haven't talked to in a long time. That postdoc down the hall that's working for another company, somebody who came and gave a talk at your university a couple of years ago. Reconnect with people and ask for introductions to other people. Right? Do a simple search on LinkedIn to see who your direct connections are connected to. In other words, see who your secondary and uh, tertiary connections are and then ask for introductions to those people especially the people who are working at um, companies you're interested in. And from there, you can set up informational interviews and so on. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. And until next week, um, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.